Hi, Steve Gale here. In uh, this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can deploy from our GitHub um, repository into, um, into our Ubuntu VM web server. So first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up my web server. So I'll just go to um, web server and I'm going to run my web server. And you can see here down here, I've got my local WAMP server running. So if I run a new window and go to http colon slash slash uh, localhost. And I'll go to uh, 2020 WSP. And you can see in here, I've got... Um, couple of folders. I've got a PHP folder with a file hello.php. If I um, then look at that in Visual Studio Code, and I can, you can see here that I've got this hello.php. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'm just going to um, file save as, and I'll just call this um, PHP deploy test and I'll just put in here test deploy PHP and I'll also put that in the title and I'll save that away. So when I make that change, as soon as I've saved this, because my, uh, my project is located. If I look at the location of my project, you'll find that it's in um, <clears throat> C colon C colon WAMP64 www 2020wsp so 2020wsp and as soon as I save a file in there, it goes straight into this folder structure, which means that if I go back to my web browser and I do a refresh, you can see immediately I've got to PHP deploy test and I can run that um, by clicking on it. So if I wanted to deploy this to my um, production web server, I've got a production web server here, which is, um, which is running um, Ubuntu 20.04. And uh, what I've done is I've just got in here, I've got a, I've just navigated to the, um, to the repository. Now, if I go to the repository, what you'll see here is if I click on PHP, notice that I don't have that file there. So what I've got to do is I go back to my local copy of Visual Studio, and you can see here that I've got in my source control, I've got one pending change, which is the new file that I've created. So what I need to do is I need to stage this, and I'll say, test it okay, because we tested it, and we tested it in our, in our WAMP server and it tested OK. So I can then commit that and then I can then um, synchronize my changes back to the origin. So this will put, this will push it back to the origin master. And when it's successful, it's taking a while, it's authenticating and the changes are synchronized. So if I go back to my deployment server, Actually, first of all, I'll go back to my um, uh, master master um, repository and I'll do a refresh. And you can see here I've got php deploy test.php and it's tested OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at well, how can I deploy this to my, my production web server. So in preparation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory and I'll just call it test. And... I'll change directory to test. And the reason I'm doing this is because I already have a 2020 WSP folder. So I've already, I've already done this. So I'm going to repeat the process. So looking at the instructions, if I go back to the readme, what I need to do is I need to configure my Git repository. Or what I can do is I can configure my Git repository using Visual Studio Code. So what I'll do is I'll go code dot 
and I'll run, I've installed Visual Studio Code into Ubuntu 2004 and I'll run up Visual Studio Code. And you can see here it's open test, but what I want to do is I want to is a control shift P which brings me up into the um, command mode and I'll type in git and I want to use git clone and what I want to do is I want to clone the repository URL so if I go back to um, my web browser and back to here I'll go to code and I'll just copy that link and I'll paste that link into there which is the repository that I want to clone and where do I want to put it? Um, I want to put it into test Oops. and select that repository location and what it's doing is it's cloning that repository and um, would you like to add it to the current workspace? I'll open it in the current workspace. And you can see here what it will have done is it will have created a folder um, 2020WSP under test. So if I go back to here and I do ls-l, you can see here I've got a 2020WSP folder, which is my cloned repository folder. If I change directory into there and I do a, a um, ls-l, you'll see here that... oops. Sorry, I didn't change directory to there. CD. Uh, and do an ls minus L. You'll see here I've got my PHP folder, I've got my SH folder and my SQL folder and my readme.md, which is here. So one of the things that I've got in here in the shell is I've got a deployment script. So let's have a look at this deployment script. So what this deployment script is going to do is it's going to have a look and see if a folder exists. var ww html 2020wsp. Now var ww var html var ww html is the um, the root of the Apache web server, and 2020wsp is where my code for this project is going to is going to sit under the root of the web server. If that, if that folder doesn't exist, then what it will do is it will make that folder. After that, what it's going to do, it's going to copy everything that's in the PHP folder. So in this case, these three files to var www.html2020wsp. And it's going to change the ownership of all of those files in that folder to www.data. And www.data is the... Um, is the process that runs the Apache web server. So the Apache web server process will basically own those files and be able to execute those, those PHP files. So before I can run this, there's one thing that I have to do. What I need to do is I need to go into CDSH and if I do an ls-l in here, you'll see that oh, it is actually executable and that's great, but if it wasn't, what I could do is chmod plus x star, and this will have no effect because already this file is executable, but I need to make that shell script executable. So to run that shell script, all I need to, that deployment script, all I need to do is dot dash deploy dot sh, and what it will do it, it, is it will copy over my PHP folders. Notice now because I cloned the repository, I've got here PHP deploy test. So I can now then deploy this new file into, into, the, um, into the production server. If I run the deployment script now with it'll 
will deploy those files into the root of the web server. So if I was to have a look at that, if I open a new window um, and I go cd slash bar slash www slash html slash 2020 WSP and do a ls minus l. What you'll see now is our PHP deploy test.php has been deployed to our web server and the owner is www.data. So just finally to confirm that that's worked, I'll just go in here and um, what I'll do is I'll um, open up a new window and I'll go to http com slash slash localhost slash 2020 WSP and I can run my PHP deploy test and you can see test deploy PHP. Now, if I found for some reason that there wasn't something wasn't quite right there, what I could do is I could make a change here. So I could um, um, put um, also tested in WAM. So, and I could save that. So once I make that change, you can see that I'm now, I've now made an update here. So what I can do is stage that. I can um, say that I can, um, it's um, untested because I haven't tested it in production yet, but I could test it in production. If I wanted to test it in production, what I'd have to do is I would have to, um, I would have to redeploy it because I'm working out of this test 2020 WSP folder. So if I if I go to here, I've made that change, but if I go to here and I run this again, it's it hasn't changed. So what I need to do is I need to redeploy it, and I can do that by running my deployment script again. Once I've run my deployment script, if I do a refresh, I come up with the changes. Finally, just to complete the loop, I've made these changes, but in terms of source control, I committed, but what I have to do is I have to synchronize the changes with the master. So I can synchronize those changes with the master. So that will update the, um, the master repository in GitHub. Then if I go back to my local machine, then I can then resynchronize here. So I'll do a pull and you'll see that there'll be a change and this change comes in locally. So now that the change is in locally, what I can do is I can I can run it here and you see the change is happening locally as well. So that completes the cycle. Thanks for watching.